Well. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Naz. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Southern California. This is episode number 450. Yes, we've been with you guys for 450 shows on uh, Facebook. And tonight, we're trying, let's see, we're going to try to add our friends from... TikTok. So today is a, a trial. So we're going to see if uh, our friends uh, from TikTok will start joining us live. We have, uh, this is show number 450. This is a, our show is called Live with Naz, which is an hour of laughter and encouragement. And it's coming to you here from Southern California. So let's see. Uh, who is joining us right here? Sarah, how are you? Sarah from Washington. How you doing? And uh, let's see. Jennifer Dirks. Jennifer from Wisconsin. How are you? Becky Ottenberry, how are you? And let's see. Simply Discount Furniture is joined us on TikTok. And then let's see. Hello, Teresa Burdo from Boston on Maine. Uh, or whatever... You know, New England, how are you? Thank you for joining us here on on TikTok. So let's see, invite another host and go to live. I'm going to invite another host, which is going to be called, let's see, who is my host? Uh, furniture, Mr. Furniture. I, I can't, okay, let's see. Okay, I can't invite him right now. Because, okay, simply discount. Okay, invite, simply discount. I don't see him. Okay, so, anyway. Uh, let's see who over joined us. Um, we have uh, Becky Ottenberry. How are you from Louisiana? And let's see. Teresa, Sarah, hello. Show number 450, yes, people. We are on show number 450. Matthew Dirt from Wisconsin. Hey, Nance from Prayer Country, Wisconsin. Welcome to the show. Uh, Jed K. Clampett, how are you? Thank you for joining us. We're, we're new to TikTok today, but we are. And DCW, nice before. And Anakin C. Rich, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, you know... My people who's been with me for two and a half years on Facebook and YouTube, you guys can, um, you know, just be patient with us as we are inviting our new friends from TikTok. And yes, Teresa in Maine. Now, Sarah said, you sound is a bit fuzzy again. Maybe scoot the mic back a little bit. You're such an enthusiastic person. Okay, maybe it's a little too loud here. Oh, oh, oh. Too loud. Alan Goodwin from California. How are you? And let's see. Rita. Rita from Tennessee. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Brent and Aust Guy and HRV. Thank you guys for joining us here. We got a lot of friends joining us on TikTok. First timers. Welcome. What we do is we ask people first time if you're with us, just tell us know. Let us know what city and state you are from. Danielle. Danielle, how are you? And uh, Luca, Luca Punk, and Robbie, Rob Briggs, uh, 925, and K4, Martin, you, you know, this show is about you being funny, you become the comedian, and we have a lot of funny people joining us, so, on Facebook, all right, so, hello, people from TikTok, well, let me, let me just tell you something, what's on my mind, uh, you know, I found out that parents suck the energy out of their kids. Did you know that? Parents suck the energy out of their kids. And I know that for true. I have three kids. Whenever they are with their friends, they're excited. They don't want to sleep. They stay up all night. They can do like all-nighters, then go out, have breakfast, and then, you know, 
go for the next night, go see movies, binge watch on Netflix. They're not tired. The minute they are with me and their mom, they're tired. They're sleeping in the car. They're sleeping in the house. They're sleeping on the couch. They're sleeping everywhere. I'm like, how are you? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. So I found out it is us who suck the energy out of our kids. So that's, so yeah, we just drain their electric battery nowadays. Last night, I asked you the question, people. Places you won't go anymore because of high gas prices. What would be places you would not go to because of high gas prices? Some of you weren't with us yesterday. You can comment right now, either on TikTok, on Facebook. You can tell. Hello, Rochelle from Oregon. Welcome, Dolores from Louisiana. Good, good to see you. Okay, Matthew, how are you? Drum roll. At number 20, places you won't go anymore because of high gas prices. For a drive to sightseeing. At number 19, <laughs> Go see the Amish. You will not do that. At 18, I won't go mow the lawn. At number 17, I will not go to the barn. At 16, at my neighborhood, I will not go to my neighbors. At 15, I won't go to the storm cellar. At 14, I won't go to family function. At number 13, I will not go to work. Places you won't go anymore because of ga high gas prices. 12, at number 12, church. At number 11, the hospital. At number 10, shopping. At number 9, to see crappy walk family movies. At number 8, I won't go and fill up my tricycle. At number 7, to Biden rallies. <laughs> At number 6, to use the outhouse. At number 5, five um, places you won't go because of high gas prices. Uh, let's see, Bye Bye Butterfly is here. You can join us. My backyard, my mother-in-law's house next door. At number three, the mailbox. <laughs> At number two, I won't go to a gas station. At number one, places you won't go because of gas prices are high. I can't afford to back out of my driveway. I won't, <laughs> I won't back up from my driveway. So anyway, this is uh, from last night. So tonight, tonight people, I'm going to start with this. This question came from uh, Rosetti from San Francisco, and it says, besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, name other superhero insects you'd like to see with what powers? Okay, this is, I'm going to need your help, with because besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, name other superheroes superhero insects or bugs you'd like to see with with what powers okay like uh, okay I messed up like I messed up I'm editing I'm editing okay here we go come on edit Naz edit okay leak no, I don't want to leak I don't wanna, I want to like not leak Okay, I, uh, thank you. Come on. Okay, here we go. And this is it. And let's see. Besides up here. And I want to be able to... Come on, give me a chance, people. Here we go. I'm going to pin the question for you. So anybody, anybody, 876 Javi, how are you? And Mr. Yeah, and Ms. Davids. Uh, Bella Danielle, Bella Danielle, how are you guys? The question is, besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, what other superhero insects you'd like to see and with what powers? Neil said Firefly <laughs> because I'd be lit. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's see. Amy's here. Hello, Jennifer, 3 out of 20. Good. Those were... Okay... Mothman, he has the power to devour an entire wardrobe in an instant. That's good. All right. Javi, oh, Javier Beso. How can I add you as, let me see, guys, if I'm going to try. Thank you for being patient today and just with a new fan. But I 876, I want to add Javier to be on, what do you call it? To be, how can I add him? to 
to become, okay, I'm going to follow him first, and then I'm going to add him to be my, can I add him to be on my Facebook overview so I have to close? No, we are still live. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, I can't do it, so I'm, okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. And let's see, Mothman, Becky said, Roly Poly Punk rolls in a bowl to protect self from evil. Jennifer said, Centipede Mom, <laughs> always using all her arms to get stuff done. That's funny. All right, you deserve a laugh for that. You deserve a laugh. <laughs> All right, user 1478964594. Thank you for joining us. The question is, besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, name other superhero N6 you'd like to see with what powers? Let's see. We said uh, praying mantis man, praying while taking the bad guys out. That's good. All right, let's see. TikTok power to stay out of Facebook jail. That's true. Fruit fly man. Beetlejuice, Roachman will come out when the lights. <laughs> okay, let's see. Josh1109, and uh, thank you for joining us. All right, let's see. The question again is besides Spider Man and Ant Man, name other superheroes and six you'd like to see with what powers? Okay, we said Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> he has the power to distract criminals with his sexy long legs while the cops do their thing. Okay. Dragonfly Man eats everything and keeps the figure. <laughs> you are on tonight, Jennifer. All righty. Sky War 63 and Wingy 75. Thank you for joining us. All right, guys. All right. It is... One more minute for our hydrate and share. Every 15 minutes, people, we hydrate and we share on this show. We keep you hydrated, even though we are in drought-infected California. The fly, power to hear everywhere. Okay, let's see. Grasshopper kid, able to jump far away from annoying people. That's good. You guys are very creative. Jimmy, Duck and Gene and Neuter and Seal what? Thank you. We have a lot of people joining us here on on uh, beautiful TikTok. Richard Marin, J. Campo. I can't keep up. Hi, 3318. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Ladybug, power to turn into gentleman bug. Okay. Spider Woman, super warm, power to prevent hooks. <laughs> super mother-in-law, the power to bug you. That is funny. All right. Bye-bye, all. Have a great day. Timothy Fakhouri, thank you for joining us. All right. I-F-I-D-G-F-F. -F -F. Thank you for joining us. i f e d g f. All right. Thank you. Fly guy. He can drive people so dang crazy that they'll turn themselves in just to get away from him. Okay. Brent. Brent is back. Brent and Audra from South Dakota. Thank you for joining us. B. Smith, thank you, 672, thank you for joining us. And uh, After Dog, Twain, 89, thank you for joining us. Syrup Man, get you out of sticky situation. Good one, good one. We miss you, Brent. Hope you're doing great. Dung Beetle Man <laughs> clears out foul smells, especially from porta potties and bathrooms after men stay in there forever. Aww. You're not being gender fluid here in this outhouse, Jennifer. <laughs> Super B with the power to annihilate. Annihilate. I'm not from this country, people, originally. Okay, use 548262262. Thank you for joining us. Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, Super B with the power to an an annihilate. The sting of death. Yeah, okay. Gentleman Geico <laughs> saves you 15% on your insurance. That's one. Eggman, the ability to scramble. <laughs> All right. Now it's 
845 people every 15 minutes on this show for the last two and a half years. We hydrate and share. So if you have uh, liquid, you can drink it now and stay hydrated. And also, if you want to share this show, I don't know how you can do it on TikTok, but let your friends know we are here where this show, you become the comedian. You tell us the jokes, the funny stuff. We ask you the question and you come up with the answer. Braden Johnson, thank you for joining us. Okay, and Latin Brothers. Okay, and Liz, Liz Lair. Liz, and Latin Brother. Latin Brother. Latin. Latin Brothers 14. Thank you, guys. Okay, so let's continue. The question is, besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, name other superhero N6 you'd like to see and with what power? Let's see. Butterfly Babe. She can fly. <laughs> Worm Man. Able to tunnel away from danger. All right. Let's see. Super Beatles. Power to lip sync. <laughs> Nightcrawler Nigerian Prince. <laughs> That's good. You deserve a laugh. But I can't give you the... Jay Cricket has the power to hypnotize his opponents with bedtime stories. That coming from Rex. Rex, I think he's 12, right? Thank you, Rex. DV200044, welcome. And Bishop. Oh, Tom Brown. Bishop Tom Brown, my buddy, my friend. Pastor Tom Brown, he is on TikTok. Listen to him, people. He's an amazing preacher. So he's in San Antonio, Texas, or El Paso. One of those. El Paso, I think. Yes. And uh, let's see. Latin Brothers 14 joined us again, too. So the question is, besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, name other superhero N6 you'd like to see and with what powers? All right, what do you say, Jay Cricket? Rhino Beetle Man, ability to barrel over trouble. Horseman, help you in a gallop poll. Carl, the safety cone at Coles. Carl, the safety cone at Coles Warehouse to give me energy as I pack all the orders. Okay, Super June Bug to come out all 12 months. <laughs> okay, the tick able to leap through keyholes. Right, June bug turns every month into June. Not sure what that accomplishes, but hey, it might be helpful. That's true. The worm shoots dirt from his mouth. Good one, Rex. Now I have the super pig song in my head. <laughs> Caterpillar man, the power to become a butterfly in a second. That came from Penelope. Hi, Penelope. I think Penelope is what, five or seven now? Remote man helps you change your mind. <laughs> Good one. Nat, so I can annoy anyone I want. Okay. Butterfly, not the insect, but a flying stick of butter. It will grease any pan. I need it. You did. <laughs> Pastor Brown is in El Paso, people. Toxic pineapple is. Welcome to the show. Thank you guys for joining us. All right. Let's see, who else? Um, the question is still, besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, name other superhero insects you'd like to see and with what powers. All right, Marvel, Marvel, if you're watching, I'm giving you, we're giving you ideas for movies here. All right, Arcani, da, Douche Clown. <laughs> That's a good name, Douche Clown. <laughs> Alicia, Sidon, thank you for joining us, guys. Okay. Lightning, lightning bug lady guiding your way out of trouble. Termite man can eat my neighbor's Porsche blocking my view. <laughs> Rosetti, I'm going to be in near San Francisco on Sunday. So if you want to get together, maybe I have between one and three o'clock. I think we can see if we can get together. I'll let you know. All right, <laughs> Blue Beetle, the power to blue dye your hands. By the way, this question came from Chris Rosetti. Bloody Siren 26, welcome. Are you from Nazareth? Yes, I am. I am from Nazareth, Arcani. Jeremiah, D Hook 2021. All right, user, H yes, I was born in Nazareth, sir. 
I left when I was a baby. That's where I got my name, Nazareth. I have a brother, Waikiki, other Albuquerque, and my sister, Buffalo. Boom. Old joke, but hey, new friends. Uh, Cicada chick. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Cicada chick, power to hypnotize people with her song. Okay, Blue Beetle, the power to blue dye your hands. All right. Bedbug kid keeps the kids active when they are with the parents and not sleepy heads. All right. Super stink bug, the power to overcome a skunk. Good. Wasp warrior can sting the villain in flight. Good. Mosquito man, the power to skewer people with his long nose. Good one, Rex. Rochelle, your kids are really funny tonight. Well, they're always funny, but tonight. Okay, Demon Bro 79, welcome. Let's see. Uh, air conditioner man, he stays cool all the time. Okay. Super Cricket, the power to be heard. Oh, I get it. <laughs> cricket counselor, plays violin to every set song. Lydia Keener 09, welcome. Jessica. Uh, the Rose, the Rose 469. Welcome, thank you for joining us on this show where you become the comedian on the live with Naz show number 450 tonight. Yes, we've been around, but today we're new on TikTok. Gypsy Mothman travels the world with a circus. Okay, just beat it, Beetle. <laughs> just beat it. Identify man changes pronouns. <laughs> Okay, super bed bug, the power to sleep on the couch. Rochelle said, teenager tarantula can throw powerful teenage temper tantrums, leaving parents weak and defeated. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Let's see. The sting bug able to drive exes and ex-mother-in-laws away. I thought that came from Rita. It's actually from Bobby. Neil, what's with these crazy names? Well, these are on TikTok. Chicken Noodle Man only works during flu season. All right. Free laugh now. Free to laugh now. I think that is Mr. Rossetti on TikTok. All righty. This is good. Firefly, the power to light up the night and blind their enemies with their bottom. Okay, you look taller on TikTok. Thank you. Flea man, the ability to cause problem. People to run away from or itch forever. Flea man, the ability to cause problem. People to run away from them or itch forever. Brown rec recluse, able to hide instantly and put everyone in the state of anxiety. Tarantula kid helps bold people grow hair. Oh, really? <laughs> Where is he? Where are you? Tarantula man, come on down. Prayer mantis, power to prayer. Worm man, the power to stick around people. Good one, Penelope. Monarch, rules more than just the butterflies. Slugger slug, incredibly strong grip. <laughs> Walmart Greeter, is that, an, is that a superhero insect? Walmart Greeter, able to draw social security and regular paycheck at the same time. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, Brent. We missed you, man. All right, let's see. Stick bug, the power to throw sticks at people. All right, Rex. Hey, Matthew Dirkshus, less hair than you. Matthew Dirks has less hair than me. Yeah, I have a lot more hair. I just don't put it on my head all, at all the time. I don't need it all day. It's for protection, and I feel safe right now, so I don't need it. When there's danger, I'll become very hairy up here. Let's see. Super Flea Man, the power to rule flea markets. <laughs> Wooly Mama Bear can control children with her mom voice. Carpenter Ant-Man builds whatever you want quickly. Fussy wife. She's never wrong. Never. <laughs> Brent is in trouble again. Oh, we forgot. He's always been in trouble. Fussy wife. She's never wrong. Never. Naz, 
absent-mindedly strokes his head as he reads about super bug that could grow hair. Yeah, yeah, something inside of me said I need this. That's what. <laughs> All right, IZ Valley. It's oh, it's Val. Thank you for joining us, Val. All right, are we still continuing the question? You still have more in you. It looks like you do. Besides Spider-Man and Ant-Man, name other superhero insects you'd like to see with what powers. All right. Let's see. Are you guys getting tired of the question? We can change it. Let us change the question. Okay, we're going to change the question on you people. Leecher kid. Oh, there's more. There's more. Leecher... Sold. What? Where's Leecher Kid? That was taken out. And, uh, let's see. Sold. Uh, super Lice Man. Power to evade bold man. Super Slug. The ability to leave a glow in the dark slime trail. Ladybug Woman. She can shoot out polka dots. Polka dots. Good one, Penelope. All right. Here's the second question, people. All righty. Today is take National Take Your Dog to Work Day. National Take Your Dog to Work Day. Busy B59, welcome. National Take Your Dog to Work Day. And the question is, what is one job you cannot take your dog to? Here we go. What is one job or job site you cannot, or one job, you cannot take your dog to. Okay. On National Take Your Dog to Work Day, what is one job you cannot take your dog to? Only Lulu, Lulu, Lulu welcome. Okay, you guys on TikTok, you can you can comment. You can comment. What is one job you cannot take your dog to? Laser hair in the removal. <laughs> that is funny, Lily. That <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is good. Good. Uh to Cole's warehouse, of course not. Cat bath. <laughs> what? The cat baptismally, <laughs> that's funny. All right, fire hydrant inspector, that's right. <laughs> you can't take your dog to that. The grocery store, they'll eat all the food. Okay, Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese restaurant. Okay, and tic tac. To, uh, all right, laser hair removal. The fish hatchery. Hot dog stand. <laughs> The post office, of course. <laughs> That's true. That's funny. The post office. <laughs> You'll scare all the employees. Ape Cakes. 33, thank you. And Nick Lugo. Nick uh, Lugo. I think this is... I need to get closer to this to read it. Taxidermist. If you're a taxidermist, don't take your dog to work. It will really do some depression and some, really, it will really impact him deep and deep inside. User 018273649-2926, thank you for joining us. All right, Rochelle, taxidermist, the cat rescue, you can't, a chicken farm, Safeway. Hi, Catherine, welcome. A cat farm, a squeaker factory, that's true, Rochelle. Okay. Window washer, they'll no sprint everything. Right. Doorbell factory. Taco Bell, <laughs> you can't take them to Taco Bell, right, Penelo? Lashes and eyebrows, you can't take them. D Dora, Dora, welcome. Hi, dog whistle factory to the flea circus. Firefighters, right. UPS annual picnic. <laughs> Bee farm, slaughterhouse, right, you can't take him there. Because my dog BB doesn't have a badge to get in calls. Oh, okay. The morgue, 
You can't take your dog to work at the morgue. Nez is dentist. <laughs> A bunch of fire hydrants. All right. A proctology doctor's office. Cremator. <laughs> A fire hydrant factory. For bug question, radioactive roach glows in the dark and light the way. All right. The dog walker, they'll get jealous. McDonald's, <laughs> you can't take your dog to McDonald's, right, Rick? Post office, a wax factory, a pet cemetery, right? P P da Pedras Maria, welcome. And real J Joaquin, relator Joaquin, welcome to the show. All right, if you guys want to tell us what city and state you're at, that would help. That's all we ask. Okay, the question is, what is one job you cannot take your dog to on National Take Your Dog to Work Day? Your dog to work day. So help us. Okay, let's see. Hello, Nancy Matriata. Welcome. It's been a long time. Good to see you. Chocolate factory. You can't take your dog to the chocolate factory. The archaeological dig. Echo chambers. Senior care home right in the mid middle of a movie time. Sorry, my didn't come in right away. No, it's fine. PETA, you don't want to take your dog to work <laughs> if you work for PETA. A vegetarian cook, you don't want to take him there. A nair factory. Tennis ball factory, that's right. <laughs> a shoe shop. A snake store. Jiffy Loop, can't oil a dog. <laughs> right. The dog races. Good night. See you on Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday, we're going to have people. We have our pod podcast every Tuesday. We have a podcast uh, at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. So we did it on TikTok last time when I had Butch uh, from uh, Nickelodeon. But next week, I'm going to have Mr. Mike Rovner. He owns Rovner Construction. This guy is very, very, very very successful businessman loves the lord so he's gonna give us some business wisdom and some life wisdom so he's an author too you're really gonna have fun with him a fur factory you don't want to take him there a tiny house build it will move right in international space station right a fur factory the rope toy plant <laughs> Right, squirrel sanctuary. We have a squirrel in our backyard or my neighbor's backyard. That's really, I think, it, it was born just to make my dog Delilah go crazy. The minute Delilah sees that, that animal, she just loses it. She's like, I'm sorry, guys. I know I should listen to you, but I, I'm going crazy. She, she just goes nuts. And when we let her out, she gets all the way to the fence and she just can't because the squirrel goes, hey, I can climb the tree. You can't. So anyway, that's the squirrel sanctuary. A rabbit wildlife reserve. A cat cafe. Heaven. Well, all dogs go to heaven, Rita, right? Right. Johnny. Johnny. Hero 1327. Welcome to the show. All right. Thank you, Brent. Good night. The dog can hold it in zero gravity. Yeah. Not to the beach, you'll never get them out of the water. Not my dog. If you live in Southern California, Huntington Beach has a, a, a dog park. There's a, a dog beach. There's a part of the beach. It's a huge beach, but there's a part for the dogs. And Delilah does not. She hates water. She hates water. Give Delilah the raccoon toy when the squirrel taunts her. I know. She likes, she's, she's playing with the ball right now. I should show you, but I, where's Maha? Maha went to TJ Maxx. That's why she's not home. Okay, Mimi25727, thank you for joining us. All right, operating the Zamboni at the ice rink. <laughs> What's the Zamboni? On the <laughs> Isn't that the mafia family, the Zamboni? Stater Brothers Meat Cutting Butcher, right? 
All right, guys, we missed the uh, nine o'clock hydrating and sharing. So please, my guy, Riley and J Rod one, 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 one. Thank you for joining us. All right. This is every 15 minutes. We hydrate and share people. This show will end in about 25 minutes. It's an hour show where you become the comedian people. And the question right now, because it's National Take Your Dog to Work Day today, what is one job you cannot take your dog to? All right. Rita's leaving. Good night, Rita. Chris Rossetti said resurfaces the ice. Oh, okay. Zamboni is the ice smoothing machine. Oh, okay. I don't know. I thought it was a mafia guy. Hey, the Zambunis are coming. I probably would leave the hockey game. Uh, okay. Here we go. From Google. Zambuni is a nice resurfacer. It's a vehicle or hand push device used to clean and smooth the surface of the sheet of ice, usually in an ice rink. The first ice. Okay. Oh, it was named after Frank Zambuni. 2400 megawatts. Zambuni is a... Bone Sculpting, the ice cream store. Okay, Bridget Mason 3, thank you for joining us. Okay, right now, people, we're going to get to the part of the show, the Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record. Okay, on the Guinness Book of World Record. Uh, today, is again, is National Take Your Dog to Work Day. So the question for the Guinness. What is the furthest distant distance? The furthest distance that a lost pet dog has to go to find his way home. What is the furthest distance that a lost pet dog has to do to go to find his way home? They said in 1979 when Jimpa, a Labrador boxer cross turned up at his old home in Pimpino, Victoria, Australia. After walking how many miles across Australia, his owner, Warren Dumsney, had taken the dog with him 14 months earlier when he went to work on a farm in Naya Bing, Western Australia. During his trek, the dog negotiated the almost waterless Nolarbo Plain. So how long does this dog, Jimba, Jimpa, walk to get home? How many miles did he walk to get back home? It's over 500 miles, under 5,000 miles. Over 500 miles, under 5,000 miles. You have three guesses to make. Three guesses. You don't look it up, don't Google it, don't ask Alexa, don't ask anyone. Make three good guesses, and whoever comes close or add the number that is on the Guinness Book of World Record, you win this beautiful toilet paper. Yes, what's left of this toilet. You never know when's the next quarantine going to happen, and you might need this. So people, you have the chance to guess a number between 500 and two and five thousand and you have three guesses and you can win how long did this dog have to walk and run to get back home let's see here we go here comes the answers good night catherine a fine gentleman the lazy dog two thousand four hundred and two miles a frisbee fair forty eight hundred miles for teresa Bobby said 1,100, 1,500, and 2,000 miles for Bobby. Teresa said 3,233 miles. Becky Ottenberry said 823, 1,230, and 2,230. Nancy Matrieta said 2,777 miles, 3,373 miles, and 1,737. Okay, Michelle Vullison from Brunswick, Ohio. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. She said 11, 20, 23, 40, and 17, 86. Jennifer said 35, 79, 795, and 43, 79. Matthew said 32, 10, 29, 67, and 4,110. Sarah 
2487, 3333, and 4267 miles. Natalie Blazers, thank you for joining us. All right, anybody else want to guess to win this beautiful toilet paper? How long, how many miles did the dog in Australia named Jimpa walk back to get home? How many miles to make it to the Guinness Book of World Record? Don't look it up. Over 500 miles, under 5,000 miles. Let me guess. The rooster ruby did with... Uh, probably fly some of those routes, of course. 1680 miles with toilet paper trail. <laughs> okay. Lily said 879, 2254, and 1760. Sold. Okay, must be the super roll of TP from Costco. Yes, it is. Sold. Okay, anybody else need to guess? Jay's 1323. Anybody from TikTok want to guess? What's the longest a dog has to walk? A lost dog to get back home. It was Jimpa. Uh, Izzy the boss. Thank you for joining us. Um, from in Australia, he walked how many miles to get back home? Over five hundred, under five thousand. Debbie Malone. Hello. Five twenty one, seventeen seventy nine, or twenty two, two thousand two hundred fifty four miles. Nope. Okay. Anybody else? Bomel twenty two three. Amber. Thank you for joining us. Okay, here's the answer. Are you ready? Drum roll, drum roll. I can't say it. Savannah, pick three, three, three. Welcome. Okay, this dog has to walk 2,000 miles exactly, 2,000 miles to get home. And the winner is, I think, none other than Bobby Miller. Bobby Miller said 1,100, 1,500, and 2,000. So, Bobby, congratulations. You just won this beautiful, beautiful toilet paper. Congratulations. I know you've received some in the back. In the past, not in the back. That's where you use the toilet paper. Uh, in the past. And uh, Mer Merzika, thank you for joining us. Okay, here we go. Now, it is 9.14, and I have one more question for you even though i have this beautiful dog in the picture that belongs to becky ottenberry and this beautiful dog in the back but bert coberet welcome and uh let's see so the question is give me a worse name for a dog even though this is so cute Give me the worst name for a dog. Worst name for a dog. B B Ma Pa Pima Sheep fifty three and Flawless by Faith and Hazel see Thank you, Schmidt, Hazel Smith. Thank you for joining the show. We're here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time for an hour. Live with Naz, you get to be the funny person. I'll ask the question, you give the funny answers. We'll have fun. We've been having fun for over two, two years. Show number 450 tonight. So join us every weeknight, 8.30 p.m. All right. Okay. Worst name for a dog. Let's see. What do we got? And... Yes, that was your dog, your bear. Deadbeat dog. <laughs> Stupid. That would be a good Dumbo. Ralph. Bear is so sweet. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Can you imagine your dog's name is Sit? Come here, sit. <laughs> hey, sit. Okay, no, don't sit. No, I mean, don't sit. Your name is Sit. Come here. <laughs> Killer, sure. Stay. <laughs> That's good. Sit and stay. You need two dogs. Dopey. 120 watching. All right. That's awesome. We have 121 people watching this show. And I don't know, there's several hundred on uh, TikTok. So praise God. 
120. All right, rug. <laughs> Teeth. <laughs> Give me a worse name for a dog. Traffic. <laughs> kitty. <laughs> Come here, kitty. No. <laughs> dog. Right. Deadbeat. <laughs> Horror. <laughs> Dudu. <laughs> Bar Dudu. He does. Yeah, I hope you don't have carpet in your house for Dudu. <laughs> Barker. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hound dog. <laughs> Stay, mop in, <laughs> two legs. <laughs> That's funny, guys. George, Jorge, guide, and paid camera. Thank you for joining. Heal, stop it, <laughs> but, <laughs> B-U-T, speed bump, <laughs> howler, <laughs> Gra <laughs> gravel, <laughs> buttercup, <laughs> football. Sissy, <laughs> worthless, <laughs> worthless dog. Nadim's, thank you, 2387, thank you for joining. Give us the worst name for a dog, people. Come on, worthless, sissy, rabies. <laughs> <laughs> rabies, that's funny. <laughs> Anxious, of course. No, <laughs> no, Lily and Sarah would name the dog. No, don't do that, <laughs> therapist. <laughs> oh, Pancho, welcome. We have 122 people watching live. And God, Wing Grace, thank you. Sloppy Top, this is a clean show, people, of course. So you can join on TikTok and not worry about any foul language or bad language. We're all here. Clean. Trip hazard. Squirrely. No. Lucky. D O G. Pronouncing each letter. D O G. Oh. Pelosi. <laughs> Michelle. Incontinence. Runaway. Yo, guys. Yo, guys, come here. <laughs> you guys. That's funny. If the dog's name, you guys. Hey, you guys, come here. <laughs> and it's only one dog, but he has schizophrenic. <laughs> come here, you guys. Oh, us. We'll be right there. <laughs> that is funny. Guys, we need to hydrate and share. Every 15 minutes, we hydrate, right? Chris, like Chris. Like Christy, thank you for joining us. Would you please hydrate and share? This is good. Last Friday, we didn't have enough people, so we thought Friday is bad. But I, obviously, we have a lot of people watching. Stop it. Clap, clap, NGO. Hey, dog. Boneface. Yo-yo. Dude. <laughs> okay, stop it. Run. Down. Car casher. Kitty cat, expensive, <laughs> runaway, idiot, <laughs> come here idiot, I'm talking to the dog, counselor, get over here, <laughs> meow, <laughs> that's funny, U-turn, that's a good name for a dog, U-turn, Optics JPEG, welcome. Thank you for joining the show. Nazaman, Nadim, thank you. Thank you for joining us. All right, worst name for a dog. Hey, you, lazy. Dum dum, lay down. <laughs> Papa, Papa, not, not daddy. Papa. As in Papa. Hazard. Circles. <laughs> he goes in circles. Heal. Okay. Heal. Worst name for a dog. I named my one dog when I was 16, sweetheart, so when cute boys walked by, I could, I could call him. Come here, sweetheart. <laughs> Ankle biter. Oh, is that how you got Matthew? Ankle biter. Why not? 
<laughs> whiny, clown, smashed face, tripod, if he has three legs, <laughs> frickles, Santa, I don't believe in Santa, but his name is Santa, no, Jose, <laughs> no way, I'm flying to San Jose tomorrow, no way, Jose, yes, I am, Re reject, flirt, <laughs> All right. Jingle. Tail bearer. <laughs> Get it? Not tail bearer. Tail bearer. Nigerian prince. Why? Good winger. Why is your camera angle so much better on TikTok? I don't know because I'm using my phone where on uh, on Facebook and YouTube I'm using my camera my Sony 6 something Poker Here postal here postal Geico essential oils That's funny All right people it is 9 okay 9:23 at 9.23, for the next seven minutes, this is what we do every night on this show. We ask if you have any prayer requests that you need. If you need any prayer, we won't be praying for you right now on the show. We will not, but what we do is a lot of us, almost all of us, would pray for you in the next 24 hours or 48 hours. And then you can come back and tell us how things are going. If you want to pray for your parents, your your kids, your wife, your husband, your your job, your school, your finances, health, whatever it is, we'd love to pray for you. And there's power in prayer. And Kitty Kitty Cat, O three ten, welcome. So so if you have any prayer requests, right now is the time. Another more worst name for a dog, crud. Pa. What do you need prayer for, Naz? Pray for this Sunday, people. I'm going to be speaking at a church in uh, Susan City in, in near San Francisco, between Fairfield and San Francisco, and I can I can use your prayers on on Sunday morning. So, would love that. Justin in Morales, thank you for joining us. If you guys have any prayer right now, we're done laughing. We have 20... What is it? We have 53 minutes of laughter and then seven minutes we need to uh, if you need prayer. Unspoken prayer for Bobby and also for your surgery date. Thank you. The same as always. Yes, but update we may have a lead. Yes, on a better opportunity we'll know more next week. Keep us updated. We'll be praying for your, you know, finding the right house for you. Unspoken for Sarah. Where are the bills? Oh, that's right. I forgot. I've been so, this is time for your prayer request. If anybody needs prayer, let us know. We'll be praying for you. We're not religious. We just love to pray for people. We love the Lord Jesus, and we're not religious. We're not. We're Christians. We love God. And you can be whatever you want, but we want you to know we'll be praying for you. So if you need any prayer, just let us know. If you're hurting, if you're scared, if you're anxious, if you have any depression. We've had so many people on our show in the last two years. Remember, we were home for over a year with that, what do you call it, quarantine. And this show was on every night. So if anybody on TikTok, if you need prayer, you need help, you're hurting, just let us know. You can um, you can even email me under info at Nazareth USA info I N F O Nazareth USA. If you can reach me here on TikTok, you can message me here on TikTok. I'll be praying for you. We're gonna we laugh every weeknight for fifty three minutes from eight thirty to nine twenty three, and then we ask for prayer requests. So if anybody needs prayer, young people. You know what? It's okay. You can ask people for prayer. We'll be praying for you. We believe God is able to do anything. He created you. He loves you. And 
He has a plan for your life. There's no reason for you to be confused and to be, uh, what do you call it, anxious and fearful and all that. That's not what God created you for. He created you to to live for Him, to enjoy His blessings, and also to understand His purpose for your life. And that would really, you know, uh, really make life a lot easier. I used to do drugs. I used to drink. I used to watch bad stuff. I used to to be really, really bad. But God got a hold of my life, and it changed my life, and I'm... I want to share that good news with people. I'm a full-time comedian. I love to make people laugh. I love to have fun. There's nothing boring about being a Christian. You can have so much fun, and I am. I do. But I want to encourage you. You know what? If you need prayer, let me know. Are we back on Monday? Yes, we'll be back on Monday at 8.30, God willing. Yes. Hunter60, thank you for joining us. So let's see. Who else? And spoken, Jennifer Simmons always, yes. Toilet bowl, safe weekend. Thank you, Frank. Poncho, probably not using them since someone came in every time. God bless me with a remote job. Yes, low pay, but no. No $6 a gallon for commute needed. Pray and learn it well. We'll be praying for you. Hoping to find out how things are going, but I don't know, Maggie. Had... Uh, Significant back. Oh, sit back. Good night, Jennifer. Thank you. I love you all. We love you too. Praying for all the new friends. Yes. This show has really helped me, helped many of us feel connected during these challenging times. Yes, that's the goal. Praying for you, Naz, for upcoming gigs. Praying for your weekend and Sunday. Blessed and safe travel. Peaceful week and workshops on my boss, Fort Cole, and his wife, Andrea Cole. The continued health and vision restoration. My co-workers and their families will be praying for them. My brother and sister and their families and businesses. My continued healing. We're praying for healing and for your family. Praying over everyone. You know that Jesus really loves you and cares about what you're going through. Thank you, Naz, for 450 shows. May God truly bless your life. Thank you. He is. All right. Prayer for all. Small miracle. I need... I needed a hundred dollars to make mortgage payment. I got thirty six in so fee reward points and sixty five first paycheck. Yeah, God, Amen. Thanks for the laughs, Tiny Dancer P thirty one. Thank you for joining us. Remember, guys, we are closing the show right now, but I want you to know we will be back next Monday at eight thirty p.m. for the live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement that coming to you. Either here on TikTok or it also will be on uh, on Facebook and YouTube. So thank you so much, guys, and have a great.